This is a video for IB Physics students starting out with SI Fundamental and Derived Units. In physics, we use an awful lot of symbols out of the English alphabet, and there's too many quantities. We'll use the Greek alphabet. So we have alpha, beta, and gamma. We also have uh, the symbol for micro. We have the symbol phi. Lambda, there's lots of symbols and it gets confusing, especially when a lot of them are the same. So M can mean a lot of things in physics. It could be 2.4 meters, or in Newton's second law, the equation for that, it represents mass. We also use as a prefix in the metric system, so there's a big difference between 2.4 meters and 2.4 millimeters. So we've got to differentiate between quantities, physical things which are measured, and the units which indicate in a number the size and uh, the type of number we're talking about. So here we have system international units and there are seven from which all other units can be derived. These are the units. So we have seconds. This is the quantity time. So the, we, when physics, we try and use these symbols all the time to describe most things, but there are also other derived units, which we'll talk about in a minute. We also have meters, the quantity is length. A, amperes, or amps, for electrical current. One that's often used in chemistry and also the gas laws. This is the amount of a substance as measured in moles. So that's where we use uh, Avogadro's constant. We have a unit of thermodynamic temperature, uh, which is Kelvin. We have kilograms, the quantity, of course, being mass. The unit is kilograms. And we have one here which we're not going to use uh, at all, actually. I It's candela, which is a unit for luminosity. Now, there are, of course, lots of other units other than those seven. We have the newton, the joule, the watt, meters squared, coulomb, uh, joule again for some strange reason, and also hertz for frequency. So where do those units come from? Here we see the seven base units down the side and their associated quantities. So for example, the meter is used in volume. So if you take uh, a meter by a meter by a meter and we end up with a cube cubic meter, the unit that's derived is meters times meters times meters, the unit for volume is meters cubed. If we have a velocity, velocity is measured in meters per second, it is derived from two fundamental units or base units, the meter and the second. And it's convention in physics in IB to write them with powers rather than the dividing sign. So the derived units are made up of all the different units. So the watt is made, uh, made up of several of these base units, or fundamental units. I'm going to show you how to derive them. Why do we need to do this? It's called dimensional analysis, and we need it for deriving new units. So say, for example, you've got a graph, and you've got energy on this graph, and time on this graph. Then if there's a line, this gradient is worth a certain constant. So that would be energy in joules, time in seconds. The units for the gradient would be joules per second. And the fundamental units from this, because the joule here is not a fundamental unit, that we would have to figure out what of the base uh, units or fundamental quantities it is. So we have kilograms, we have seconds, we have meters, amperes, moles, kelvin, and the one we don't use, candela. Now, these last three here, you'll hardly use at all. You'll spend a lot of time talking about kilograms, seconds, meters, and amps. So let's see how we derive the unit for area, which all the, all the purple words are quantities. All the sort of orangey colored words, they're the units. So if we have an area, length times width or breadth, whatever you want to call it, 
the, the unit for area, the derived unit is the meters squared, that is fairly obviously made up from meters times meters. Okay, pretty straightforward. So we've got the two units that it's derived from. So this derived unit is made up of these two fundamental quantities. Frequency is calculated as 1 divided by the time. And the unit that we use is named after Heinrich Hertz, who discovered radio waves. So 1 Hertz is an occurrence of some one thing happening every second. But to derive the units for frequency, that would be 1 divided by the unit, which is the second. And we often use square brackets to denote that. And 1 over, we don't use these divided by symbols in IB physics. That is the equivalent of to the power of negative 1. So the hertz, the unit's hertz, is equivalent to seconds to the power of minus 1. So here we have the fundamental units and the power associated. That's all you should have left at the end. Now, the newton is the um, unit for force. So it's used in a couple of different equations. One for weight, uh, that would be equation number two. And Newton's second law, which is here, this is equation number one. Now, the Newton is made up of the kilogram and the unit for acceleration, which is meters per second per second. So the Newton is the equivalent of uh, kilograms, meters per second per second. So we've taken the Newton and stripped it down to have just fundamental units and powers. Try one more, we'll try the Joule. So work done is equivalent to force times distance. This is a little bit trickier. So work in joules is equivalent to the newton moved through the meter. Now, the, the meter is already my fundamental unit, so we're good there. But if we want to find out what the fundamental quantities of the joule are, we need to do something with the newton. The good thing was we just did that the last minute, because F equal to ma gives us the newton is the kilogram multiplied by acceleration, which is meters, seconds per, s seconds per second, so it's to the power of minus 2. And then we need to remember about this. So, so far here we have the newton, and then we need to multiply the newton by another meter, so from here, that gives us the fundamental units and the powers for the joule, which is kilograms times meters squared, because there's two meters here, times seconds to the power of minus two. So the joule is equivalent to this. Okay.